Hello everyone, welcome to Interpretation of Topographical Map Part 10. In this video, we are going to learn about the direction of the river, the slope of the land and the banks of the river. So, if this is your topo map, okay, we first write the direction. This will be north, always the top is north. This is south, the bottom. This is my eating hand side, so this is east. And this is my other hand, so this is west. Now, in between north and east, we have northeast. And in between south and east, we have southeast. Between south and west, we have southwest. And between north and west, we have northwest. Always start with S and N. So, this is the step one preparation for finding the direction of the river. Now, step two, I'm just dividing this into four quadrants. This will be northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. Now, step three, I'm just going to draw the river exactly as how it is given in the map. So, Banas River is coming like this. Okay. And now look for arrows inside the river. So, yes, we have an arrow in the river. So, I am drawing the arrow too. So, now see from which quadrant to which quadrant is this arrow going. So, it is coming from northeast to southwest. So, the answer will be Banas River is flowing from northeast to southwest. And according to the council, it is more than enough if you write towards which direction the river is flowing. So, in this case, if you write Banas River is flowing towards southwest also, it is correct. Now, let us learn to find the direction of this Balaram Nadi. So, step 1, north, south, east, west. Okay, and we have the four quadrants. This will be northeast, northwest, southeast and southwest. Okay, and now step two, look for the arrow. So, here we have an arrow. So, in which direction is this arrow going? It is enough if you write towards which direction the arrow is going. So, the arrow is going towards northwest. So, the answer is Balaram Nadi is flowing towards northwest. Now, in some cases, the arrow for the river will not be there. So, say for example, this is a river, but we don't have an arrow here. So, how to find the direction now? You go for heights above sea level. We have already learnt spot height, triangulated height, benchmark, and contour height. So, you look for all these height inside the map. So, say for example, there is 700 here. There is um, again 500 here. Or there is BM 200 here. And maybe there is a contour line 800 going here. Okay. There is another spot height 400 here. So, we know that water always falls from high to low from a high land to low land so looking at these heights we can come to a conclusion that the water is falling from here to here so see we have drawn the arrow so the water is falling from northeast to southwest clear so here you have a main river let's see the direction of this river there is no arrow for this river. So, we know that water always flows from higher elevation to lower elevation. So, let us check the heights first. So, let us see the northern part of the map first. Here, you can see the contour height is 280. Here, you can see the spot height 277. And here, you can see near the prominent survey tree, the height of the place is 286. Here, we even have one 290. Now, let us see the southern part of the map along the river. Do you see any height above sea level? We have one 260 here, 263 here, 255 here. So, can you see these spot heights are 
decreasing the contour heights and spot heights are decreasing from north to south here we have in 280 and 270 whereas as we came south we are seeing it in 260s and 255 so as we know that water always falls from higher elevation to lower elevation we can draw the arrow by ourselves in this case the river is flowing like this it is flowing towards south okay or you can also write the river is flowing towards south west clear everybody now let's try the direction for sipu river now imagine that there is no arrow here let us find out the arrow okay so first i am looking at this end of the river i see a spot height 175 i see a triangle at height 179 and i see 172 here and 150 here one so depending on the heights above sea level we know that the water is flowing from here and it is flowing towards south west so the answer is sipu river is flowing towards south west now there is also another question regarding the slope of the land so say for example what is the general slope of the land in the given map as you can see in this quadrant that is the southeast quadrant of the map you can see lot of contour lines so we know that it is a higher elevated land form and you can, we can also see that all these rivers sipu nadi and sipli nadi they are flowing towards the eastern direction so the answer is the land is elevated on the southeast and it is sloping towards east or you can also write northeast in this map also so they may ask you what is the general slope of the land so here again as you see lot of contour lines here so this is an higher elevated land and this being a plain area we know that it is a lower elevated land so we can say that the land is sloping towards north west so remember whenever a slope of the land is asked the general slope of the land is asked you have to look at the river if there is a river flowing then definitely that is the direction towards which the land is sloping when it comes to bank of the river remember there are only two banks right bank and left bank there is no east bank west bank to find the bank of the river so step 1 look for arrow inside the river so if already there is an arrow like this we know that the river is falling from southeast to northwest but this direction is not important to us just look for arrows now step 2 imagine you are floating along the direction of this river so keep your hands like this okay keep your hands like this and imagine you are floating along the direction of the river now this is my right hand so this will be the right bank and this is my left hand and this will be the left bank that's all so if they are asking you to name any settlement on the right bank you write the names of settlements that are present on this side and if they are asking you to name the settlements on the left bank you write the names of settlements on this side of the river in order to find the bank of the river step 1 you should know the direction in which the river is flowing so look for arrows inside the river so here this is the arrow so we know that the river is flowing from here to here now step 2 what you have to do is turn your map okay and you imagine that you are floating in this river okay put your hands like this okay and imagine you are floating along the direction of this river now this is my right hand side so this will be the right bank and this is my left hand side and this will be my left bank do not write east bank west bank a river has only two banks right bank left bank clear so can you name the settlements on the right bank of this banas river so we can write uh, brahmavas 
Nandotra we have in both the places. So it's actually Brahmavas Nandotra on the right bank. We also have settlement Goth here on the right bank of Banas River. Now let's take this map. So the question is uh, on which bank of Sipunadi is Selvara located? So step 1 look for the direction of the river. So we have an arrow here. So we know that the river is flowing from here to here. Now step 2 turn the map. Okay. Turn the map in such a way that imagine that you are flowing along the direction of this river. So keep your hands like this and imagine you are floating along the direction of this river. So this is my right hand side right bank and this is my left hand side left bank. So Selvara is on the right bank of Sipunadi. Now you are going to try it. Tell me on which bank of Sipunadi is Merol located. Okay. So come on. Let's turn the map. So I am imagining I am floating along the direction of the river. As you can see the arrow is pointing towards here. So I am floating like this along the direction. This is my right hand side. So this is the right bank. And this is my left hand side. And this is the left bank. So Merol is located on the left bank of Sipunadi. So I hope you understood the concept clearly. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubts, always feel free to contact me through the comment section. So see you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.